Shalom, Ahab, Wa, Barak. First and foremost, call Halala Yahweh, Bahashim Yahoshai, Bahashim Rukwa Kadash. And yet, I hate this. I hate saying this dude's name. I can't wait to find out what his real name is. Because he doesn't deserve a nickname that is slightly ebonic. And I don't care about your rap history of Christian rap ministry. Don't nobody know who you is. Because you didn't do nothing. And what you did do is you didn't teach your Christianity. All you taught was, I am against the Hebrew Israelites for teaching. Why is our teaching so important for you to try to debunk? I've been going through your channel, I don't know, for about half an hour. And all I see is Israelite this, Israelite that, Israelite debate, how to debunk an Israelite, how to stop an Israelite, the true breakdown, Cornelius this, Cornelius that. You don't know anything. I'm a, I've got a doctrine or I'm a master's degree. Whatever the fuck you think you have, you don't got it. You don't got nothing. You know what? Let's play this guy. Let's, let's show you something about this guy. Um, but I'm actually just curious to know. Sounds like, super suspect so far. But I don't know. But in like maybe two or three sentences, like how did you get into this? I'm just super curious to know like what led to all of this. Well, um, one day I was chilling, you know, and uh, I heard a knock on the door. And it was a man in a black suit. And he said, I'm a Jesuit and we want to hire you. We've got some Vatican money. And uh, I said, okay, do you have any other credentials? And he also told me he worked for the FBI and I was in. The reason why I said that is because that's what Hebrews like say. They say, I work for the Jesuits, and I'm a government agent. That's why I answered that way. The reality is that someone's like, this guy's not funny. That's really what they say, a Jesuit who works for the government. The real answer, the real answer is it popped up in my neighborhood. I don't just mean in my city. I mean, like, in my neighborhood, and not just once, a couple times. So I had a friend call me one day and said, hey, these guys are busting into churches on the south side. Do you know who they are? And he starts telling me, and I was like, I never heard of that. So I looked it up, and I learned about Hebrews like for the first time. This is now going on 15 years ago or something. So I held it in my mind, but I never encountered any. Then one day, in my neighborhood I live now, which is in Phoenix, not Columbus, I saw them. I said, those are the guys Steve was talking about all those years ago. I remember these guys. So I went up to him and said, hey, what's the gospel? And I kind of got a baptism by fire into Hebrew Israelism that day. And uh, I put the audio up online, and all these people responded because I had an apologetics blog I was running. And I was mainly dealing with Islam at the time. And what happened is I realized there was a need for this because of the response. And so I was like, I got views. He's doing this for views. I got a response from this. So I can show you right now on his channel. Ever since he got that response, it's not about debunking the Hebrew Israelites. It's about people watching his channel. And honestly, 3,000 views a year ago, bro, you might want to do something else. So I'm just letting you guys know. And hold on, you know I'm going to bring some scriptures. All right, guys. I want to start here because for those of you that don't know this guy, um, Malone here, he's, 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 I don't know what he is, he definitely gets paid, he's definitely a 501c3, so when you're a 501c3, you do actually work for the government, now, with what he said, until I can go and prove it through paperwork, hold on guys, alright, all dogs out, but anyway, before until I can prove it with um, his actual documents of what he made last year and where he made it and who he worked for, just like what we did with Nathaniel at IUIC, we know that he was a cop and he made like eighty thousand dollars his last year's being a cop. We all know that. So and that was in fact he was still getting paid by them in, years after um, he started IUIC. Just letting you guys know. Nothing to do with this, though. Since I don't have proof on this, um, on this demon, I'm just going to bring out the scriptures anyway. Proverbs, 
chapter 4, and we're going to start at verse 14. Enter not, enter not into the path of the wicked. And who are the wicked? Panerus. Who are the wicked? The people that make a, a, um, a whole entire um, career out of trying to stop the truth from coming out. Oh yeah, I've been looking at this guy. I've been watching to see what he's up to. And it, this is a weirdo. But b believe me, he knows nothing about us. He knows nothing about us. All he knows is what he heard. He doesn't know anything about what the scriptures say because the Most High has put complete blindness over this guy. That's why anytime he goes up against any of the prophets, he fails. This is why, no, you will not be going up against any of the prophets, the elders, the teachers, the apostles, the disciples. I wouldn't be surprised if Apostle Tahar Gabar kicked you out of the camp for talking to this guy. You're not worthy. You're, you live right up the road from me, homeboy. You show up for me, I just might just turn the camera off and then who knows what happens. I don't like you. And I'm not like everybody else. But, like I said, who knows what happened. We would have to have a real spiritual conversation, wouldn't we? Because I don't, I don't agree with anything you say in always trying to produce a negative narrative against the children of Israel shows who you really are. Let's read it. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it. Pass away. He does not teach the truth. All he teaches is how to debunk an Israelite, how to do this, how to do that. But he doesn't teach the Bible. So right away with a 501c3, you know this guy ain't teaching nothing. For they sleep not Except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fail. Unless he causes you to come away from the truth. He can't even sleep at night. I can't sleep. I can't believe that they're saying that. You know why? Because he believes his own lie. He believes his own lie. For they eat the bread of wickedness. And they drink the wine of violence. You are... And let me just keep going. I, I doubt he's actually... Um, Physically violent. The guy looks like a like if you even flinched at him, he'd probably pass out and die. But nobody's trying to physically hurt you, vocabulary Malone. No one wants to put hands on you. The most high is gonna do all the things that are required of you. You will be paid and judged. So we don't I mean you're gonna be rewarded. Just like everyone else, you will get your reward. So don't worry, we're not gonna touch you. I don't want to interfere with the Most High's judgment because I know that what he's going to do to you will be something that everybody wants to see. Public, public, um, um, you're going to get your, your, your recompense is going to be a public recompense. You're going to be publicly repaid by the Most High. So I hope for your sake, actually I don't hope, I know for your sake, <laughs> I know for your sake that you're doomed. I know for your sake you're doomed because of what you've said. I can't hope anything for you except for your how is plan to be carried out to the fullest. But let me keep going. Let me keep going. Um, for they eat the bread of wickedness and they drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as the shining light that sinneth more and more unto the perfect day. I'm sorry, that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. So, you keep talking that good, you be talking the goody good good too. You be talking that good good, don't you? You know you do. You're talking all those good things that you say. But you know what? It says right here that, that the, but the path of the just, the path of the just is as a shining light. So the just aren't going to waste their time telling people how to debunk vocab Malone. The just aren't going to spend their time bringing out how-to videos, how to, um, uh, how, how to stop the vocab Malone disciples from bringing out the false truth. You know why? Because we don't care about you. 
We're a shining light. We're just going to keep bringing the truth to the Israelites that shineth more and more until the day, until the, until the perfect day. Ooh, so what should we be doing until that perfect day? If we're going to keep shining until the perfect day, we're prophesying the end times. We're prophesying the destruction of Babylon. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me read it again. Let me get it, though. Let me read it again for you real quick. I said, um, but the path of the, this is, this is Proverbs 4 and 18. Listen carefully. But the path of, of the just is as a shining light because like the smart virgins we stay in the books we stay studying we look up the words we do the etymology we go back to the hebrew we go back to the greek we go back to the um to to um the 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 latin we we go back to everything that pertains to the word we go back to the historical value we Put the time frames back in place so people know the truth. This is why you've been paid. This is why you've been paid to stop the truth. This is why you've dedicated your life to this. You didn't dedicate your life to teaching the Bible. Let me read it again. But the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day of uh, unto the perfect day. And I already told you the perfect day is the day of his vengeance and of his destruction. So let's get Isaiah 61 and 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh and the day of vengeance of our Father, our Abba, Yahweh, to comfort all that mourn. So the acceptable day is the day of vengeance. And our job to shine bright is to prophesy. You keep going against prophecy. All you had to do was shut your mouth, but you took a bag instead. So who knows? Maybe Vocab alone with his rap career and all of his bullshit, maybe he is an Israelite. But if he is, he is one of the most wicked two-thirds. I would compare you to Jason. I would compare you to Jason, that lowly wretch. He is no priest. Let me keep going. I'm going to finish this out. The way of the wicked is darkness. They know not. They know not at what they stumble. So you're going against the truth. You know not at what your stumbling block is right now. You literally got paid to go against the real prophets, that the real shining light the ones that are sent back to bring forth the truth. You're there to sift the two-thirds away from us. Thank you for your services. You're also part of the two-thirds. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. What do you want to talk to GMS for? Attend to the word of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Incline to his sayings. Stop trying to have a fucking debate. In fact, let's get that. All right, let's get it. Because this dude wants to call on GMS. And what does he want to do, guys? He wants to have a debate. So let's get that. Let's get Romans chapter 1, KJV, because we got to go right to the source. we got to go right to the source. So let me find it real quick. Hmm. I got to start at verse 25 to keep it in context. Vocab Malone, I hate saying your name. You don't deserve a hip-hop nickname going against the cho the children of Israel and then trying to like, like, like kind of like slither in with uh, Ebonic name. Get out of here with that. But let's go ahead and get the scriptures that you'll be able to um, pertain to because there's one thing I love. If they're hungry, I love to feed them. And if they're thirsty, I love to give them a drink. You know why? Because by doing so, I'm burning you up with hot coals. You're going to be seared in your heart. In other words, your mind's going to be destroyed. So let's get it. This is um, Romans chapter 1, starting at verse 25. Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie, you Christian? Who worshipped and served the creature more than the creator? You worship and serve 
the 501c3 master. That is a creature, not a creator. Who is blessed forever? Ooh, the ones that are sent back. Who's blessed forever? The ones that have been sent back to wake you up. Amen. Amen. So be it. 26, for this cause, Yahweh gave them up to vile affections. For even the women did change the natural use into that which is against her nature. And that's happening right now. This is all prophecy being fulfilled, vocab. You're part of this. You're part of this. You're, I, I'm not saying that you're, uh, I don't know what you are when it comes to that. But I'm just saying... In this day and age, your part of the prophecy is being fulfilled. This is one of the prophecies of your day and age. This is one of your prophecies being fulfilled. While you are getting destroyed with the two-thirds, this is a prophecy um, describing the two-thirds that are going to be with you. Let me read it again. For this cause, Yahweh gave them up to vile affections. Even their women did change the natural use unto that which is against their nature. And likewise... Also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lust and one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemingly and receiving themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat of their error, of their error, which was, which was good. So the thing is, vocab Malone, all these things are happening now. These prophecies are being fulfilled. Why do I bring it up? Because I'm keeping it in context. I'm showing you that we're living in this day and age at this time. But don't worry. You're going to fall into the mix right now too. So just like I said, and at that time when the world is in this way, the people like you are also going to show up. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Kwakadash, you don't want to retain that in your knowledge. I told you, your part's coming up. Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind, destined for failure. You're a destined for failure mind. That's what you have. You have a reprobate mind, a mind that is destined for failure. To do those things which are not convenient. Being full of un, all unrighteousness. Now listen carefully. Because you want, you want GMS to come down. And you want to have your debate. All, the, all of the uh, rainbow people are running around right now rampant. If your 501c3 told you to invite one of them on and be nice to them, you would have to do it. So I know we're in those days. And so I know who you are. For you're the one that is filled with unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness. Full of envy because you are not an Israelite. Full of envy, murder, debate. There's the point debate. You want to have a debate with GMS. For what? Nobody in the camp cares about you other than to put out a video to remind all the other Israelites that are in the truth to watch out for this guy. And like I said, he's in Phoenix according to, I mean, I don't know if he lives in Phoenix now, but it, it seems like he lives in Phoenix from what I was reading on his background. I don't know. Don't really care. Stay away from me. Full of envy, murder, debate, deceit. You have lost every debate and you lie about it. You lost against Alice. You lost against anybody that was coming out with 50% truth. Anybody that had 50% truth could beat you. You have zero truth. So even 50% truth could tear you apart. So, full of envy, murder, Debate, deceit, malignity. You know what? Let's get. You know what? No, 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 no. Let's get this. Let's get this. Mm-hmm. Let's get the definition of malignity. I'm gonna read the rest of it, but I want to get the definition of malignity in whispers. Backbiters, haters of Yahweh, just. You hate Yahweh. You love Jesus. You love God. You love Jesus Christ that, that, that has the Jesus Christ Christmas and the Jesus Christ Easter 
and you guys can have your Jesus Christ Thanksgiving with God all involved, that's your God. That's not our God. So why don't you take your God and go worship your God and leave us and our God alone? Because our God has nothing to do with you, but he is going to deal with you because you keep bothering us. So let me get the definition of malignant. So malignantly whispers, backbiters, haters of Yahweh, despiteful, proud. You're very proud, aren't you? You're like Nate. You're so proud. Boasters, inventors of evil things. I didn't invent anything evil. Are you crazy? Your whole platform is wicked. You invented that platform. You've got to be joking. Disobedient to parents. Who are your parents? The elders of Israel. Man, you're stupid. I don't know why you even messed with any Israelite. You should just be quiet. Ain't nobody ever. And, and yes, it's a bloodline, not a skin color. So stop playing that skin color game. Hebrew Israelism. Black Hebrew Israelites. My wife has white skin. My, I have a son with white skin. I have dark skin. We're both from the, the tribe of Gad. But by being scattered to the four corners of the earth, when we did our research, we realized that not only are we both Gadites, but our tribes in the ancient times were bordering each other and we were neighbors. So we've always been together. But now we've been scattered in. And uh, she looks different and I look different. But here comes Vocab Malone saying, you're a black Hebrew Israelite. Hebrew Israelism. You know how irritating that is? And then GMS actually has... Um, People with uh, pale skin in their camp. Lighter than vocabulary Malone himself. And you know what he does? He tries to debunk it by saying, they let white people in. We let Israelites in. It's a bloodline. Israel is a speckled bird. Speckled bird. If you've ever looked up what the speckled bird looks like, it goes from white to black and every shade of white to black a shade of brown in between so you've got to understand that this guy he's only set up to lie to people now let me go back to where i was at attend to my words incline not incline thine ear unto my sayings keep the laws follow the truth continue in paul's writings alazar you moron. Keep the laws. Stay in the truth. Do and, and when I say keep the laws, I'm not talking like I U I C. You gotta keep the laws. Gotta wood fridge. Gotta go Friday night, Saturday night. They're not in the truth. They're not in the truth. In fact, I I, I had to throw all my um, fringes away that look like theirs. You know why? Because it reminds me of what they represent. I have fringes on some of my garments, but you wouldn't notice. Because I don't enlarge my borders like that. You just got to be, uh, have more of a keen eye, I guess. But anyway, when I say keep the laws, I'm talking about it's an application. You find something out and you're like, oh, I'm not supposed to be eating this. I'm not supposed to be eating that. The, the, the Shabbat is actually, um, from, um, from, 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 the seven days after the new moon and the new moon is dark. So you learn these things and that's when you start, that's where you keep, you start keeping the high holy days. You start going out and teaching, preaching to the highways and the hedges. You know what I'm saying? And preach to the wind and the highways and the hedges. We, we're doing what we're supposed to. It's this demon right here. This is the sheep in wolves clothing. And you know what? Let me get that. Let me get that. Let's get it. Let's get it, Vocab Malone. Let's get it. This one's for you. This one's for you. This one's yours. This is Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You're just a ravening wolf trying to distract the people, and it's only for a short time. And we all know that when your time is up, you're, you're going to have to be just like the hirelings, right? You're going to have to flee when you see the real wolves coming, huh? You're going to have to flee. So, with that being said, I think I've exhausted the point enough. I was just trying to put up a quick video. And, um, I'm going to go back to Proverbs chapter 4. I'm going to read 19 again. 
and then I'm gonna read it out, and then I'm gonna close it out. The way of the wicked is darkness. They know not at what they stumble. You're wicked, you're in darkness, your stumbling block is you're going against the real children of Israel. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. So when you learn certain things in the law, you've got to um, apply them to your life. It's impossible to keep all the laws at this time, or this place would be totally different. We can't keep the laws. That's why the Most High Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai put us in a grace period, because he knew what we were coming up against. 21. This is Proverbs 4 and 21. Let me not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Don't take your eyes off me. Keep them on me. Make my mind right. Control me. Make sure that when I do something, it was according to scripture, according to what you want, Father. I'm praying for your plan to be carried out through me. And all of the prophets that are around me, they're in the 100% truth. Verse 21, let them not depart. I'm sorry, verse 22. For they are life unto those that find them and heal all their flesh. So, mm, 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 mm. the words of Yahweh, when you find them, that means he allowed you to understand what he's saying. So, they're telling you right now, learn the the he said watch i love this this is like one of my this is one of my favorite verse let me let me um let me let me read it again he said for they are life unto those that find them what is he talking about my son attend to my words so why am i so repetitious about certain things you're looking at this guy right now on the screen. When has he taught you the Bible? When did he just sit down and read in context and break down and tell you what everything means? When did he do that? Not once. And don't worry, I'm not going to give up on I'm, I'm going to show you guys what the word malignity means still, too. I haven't, I haven't let that go. I just have to um, pull it up real quick. Hold on. What, what is the biblical definition of malignity? This is great. I love these definitions. Evil. Um, extreme enmity, which means hatred. Evil dispositions of heart towards another. Provocation. Um, Deep-rooted spite. So that's what malignity is. He's saying that you guys with malignity are wicked. So how about um how about whispers? What is the biblical definition of whispers? You guys are gonna According love to ignite church sunshine coast. It's you're gonna whisper. you're gonna love this. A whisper used in the Isaiah passage means a voice. It could be a loud, commanding voice. No, that's not it. Out. Is it the real true um, definition of whisper or vocabulary, Malone, is one who gossip, but does so by murmuring and complaining. You are a whisperer. So when you go back to Romans, now I got to go back to Romans. I got to turn on the light. I got to get a Bible out. I got phones out. I got tablets out. But for this guy, you got to surgically remove him. He's got to be surgically removed with all of the scriptures out at once because you can't debunk me, homeboy. You ain't coming up against me for sure, for sure. I know that for a fact. The Most High has a spirit on me to protect me. And most people that meet me in person know that there's a real spirit over here, homie. You ain't trying to go up against the real ones. And if you came against me, I would tell you, go talk to the elders. You can't talk to the elders. Why are you trying to talk to me? So let's get it again. So this is Romans chapter 1 and 29. Being filled with all, all, complete, all, all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate. I want to have a, I want GMS to be on my show. Why? So you can disagree and try and have a fucking debate. Deceit, 
malignity, deep, evil rooted, just deep rooted hatred. You have deep rooted hatred and you're lying. You don't want to just have a conversation. So you're deceitful. Now let's go back to whisperers. What was whisperers again? What did I tell you, whisperers? Somebody who gossips by murmuring or complaining, homeboy. You can't come over here. You can't mess with the real ones. You can't mess with the real ones. You're just out there trying to talk to people that don't know that. I've been in the truth for six months. Yeah, I'll have a debate with you. Nah, nigga. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't real. You ain't real. You are not real. You have been put here and you are scripted. And you're told what to do. So I'm going to go ahead now and finish it out. This I'm going back to Proverbs chapter 4. I'm going to pick up where I left off and then I'm going to close out. So, for they are life to those that find them and health to all their flesh. So it's talking about the scriptures. It's talking about the laws. It's telling you that um, anybody that can come back to the real 100% truth, dummy, you little you you dummy with your with your old school gangster hat trying to bring out the truth with a hat on. You look like a dummy. You don't have to keep the laws. The laws have been away. I was looking at your class. The pork. You're allowed to eat any food you want according to this 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 unhealthy person. And when you are unhealthy, your mind is unhealthy if you eat unhealthy. So you can't just be. Um, a healthy mind, but be physically unhealthy. It doesn't. It's that they, they don't. They don't work together. It's water and oil. They don't mix. You have to be healthy physically and healthy in your mind. You have to be stable. See, the Israelites. We've been through hell. We are stable. Our minds are healthy. You couldn't hurt us, and the ones that you could are called two thirds. The most high didn't want them anyway. So, let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of my heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. The word is health to us, because when you follow in the laws, you follow the health laws. It's that simple. Plus, you you have a, all that stress goes away of the world, because you don't have to worry about it. It says that, let the most high worry about that. Man, dang it. Um, mm, um sorry, um, got a real bad cut today. I guess I should have went to the hospital and got fucking cleaned up, but I didn't, and now it's bleeding again, but you know what, the most high will fix it, I am not going to a hospital unless the fucking finger falls off my hand, and I'm going to be honest about that, I won't go into your, I'm sorry, I'm not, nope, it's a cut, but um, anyway, let's go back into it, um, like I said, therefore, they are life unto those that find them in health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of, out of it are issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips put far from thee. So, let's look it up. And... We got to get that forward. What is the biblical definition of forward? According to Bible study. No, no, no. It always wants to, um, it doesn't want to give you that word ever, but let's see. So, put away your vocab. I'm going to close out with this. I'm going to close out with this, okay, vocabulary, Malone? Is that okay with you, if I must? Yeah, I'm going to close out with this, okay? This is, um, this is Proverbs 4 and 24. Put away from thee a forward mouth. Put away a perverse, I'm sorry, yeah. It says perverse lips, but deceitful, false, um, disobedient, opposition, um, habitually dis di di disposed to disobedience. Um, being slightly off in your destination to Yahweh. We gotta stop there. That's what we've been looking for. 
put away the a forward mouth. So, being slightly off in your destination to Yahweh. In other words, shut up. You're off. In other words, you're a bug out. You're going off. And perverse lips far from thee. All right? So if you got eyes to see and ears to hear, I want you to hear this. Call hola. La Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai Bahashim. Rekwa Kadash. And double honors to all the prophets, the elder apostles, the prophets, the teachers, the students, the, which are the disciples of GMS, bringing out the 100% truth. And with that being said, if you got the spiritual eyes to see and the spiritual ears to hear, I hope you got something out of this message. Shalom.